All right, building off our muscle snatch to overhead squat, here we have a snatch grip overhead position for a forward lunge. So Jeremy, the athlete's gonna get into position. Again, very similar cues, arm nice and straight, hip slot to begin with with the bar, feet shoulder width apart slightly wider. He's gonna keep that bar nice and close, getting into external rotation overhead, locking the arms out, good. Having that even balance we talked about. And now he's going to lunge forward. Upper body stays upright. He's gonna step back every time. So lunge forward and back, good. It's okay if he goes slightly on an angle, on a degree of an angle, as you can see. It doesn't have to be a direct forward line. He can come out slightly to an angle on his forward lunge. That's okay. Because it's not a balancing act, but he does want to be able to maintain nice upright posture. Really trying to get that heel to touch the calf or getting that full range of motion in the knee flexion while trying to keep the heel down as best as he can on the front foot. He's still getting a dynamic hip flexor stretch but he's teaching his body how to react to the floor while stabilizing the upper body. Common mistakes are similar to the things that we would see um, in terms of muscle snatch overhead squat uh, deviations, which is twisting of the upper body or not being able to control the hip, knee, and foot alignment. So he'll show you a little bit of an upper body or core twist here. Go ahead, Jeremy. So you can see he's not able to maintain that upper posture. So I'm going to re him, keep that upper body nice and straight, lock the arms out, and now he's going to be in a much better position. He's not overly extending as well through the low back. That's a common mistake as well that we see is overarching as he's lunging forward, trying to maintain a nice upright position. He's going to brace the core. He's going to bring everything in, and then he's going to take that step. Excellent.